final regular season game of the year for Prescott. They are taking on Coronado, finishing the regular season with a non-region contest. Coronado coming out of the Black Canyon region. Of course, Prescott finishing up region play for the Grand Canyon region last night with a 67 to 40 victory over Mingus. Let's give you the starters here. First for the visiting Coronado Dons, we have number zero, Brandon Hudson. Number five, Brandon Walker. Number 10, Justin Wetzel. Number 11, Nolan Eifler. And number 12, Jacob Wetzel. Kind of a special starting lineup for Prescott tonight. Tonight is senior night. Coach Travis Stedman going with an all-senior starting lineup. And a lot of guys who uh, are mainly uh, reserves getting the start tonight. So. Starting for the Badgers tonight, we have number two, Micah Bittner, number 20, Ryan Smith, number 22, Pippi Brown, number 23, Ben Dutson, and number 24, Levi Van Dyke. So now that uh, Prescott football coach, Cody Collette, working the uh, PA tonight, has announced the starting lineups for both teams. We are just about set for our contest. Again, the regular season finale, well, for both of these teams, Prescott will be going on to the playoffs. Currently, they are 19 and two on the season. They are ranked number five in the 4A conference. They are also number 24 in the open division, and that is a playoff format that basically throws teams from the 4A, 5A, and 6A conferences into the same mix, and they duke it out there. Coronado, however, 10 and 13 on the season, number 36 in the 4A conference. So unfortunately, this will be their final game tonight. And the Dons win the opening tip off. Dons in the dark blue, Prescott in the white. Driving the basket, that's number 10, Justin Wetzel. He loses the ball, goes out of bounds amongst the cheerleaders. As we are underway here from the Dome, thank you very much for joining us here on our special KYCA live stream of Badger basketball. Coronado to inbound. And it's over to number five, Brandon Walker. Gets that one over to Hudson. Hudson moving inside, loses the ball, and it's picked up by the Badgers. Ben Dutson with it. I guess the pass over to Van Dyke. Van Dyke backing out. Gets that one over to Dutson. Over to Pippi Brown, now over to Dutson. Round around the ball goes. On the inside now to Bittner. Back on the inside, the jumper, and it's good! Ryan Smith puts the Badgers on the board. It's two zip. And now Coronado with it. Justin Wetzel gets a pass on the outside. The shot for three. No good by Nolan Eifler. Badgers get the ball back. That's Levi Van Dyke. To the near corner to Bittner. Now Ben Dutson. Loose ball on the inside. Who's going to pick it up? Hot potato there. The Badgers get it. Van Dyke for three. No good. But the Badgers get the rebound. Dutson, nice heads up play there. On the inside to Brown. Now Van Dyke for three again. It's good! Levi Van Dyke! Well, second time is a charm for Van Dyke, and it's five to nothing, Prescott. Justin Wetzel with the ball for the Dons. Gets that one over to Hudson. Hudson in the paint. Gets that one out to Eifler for three, no good. And a nice rebound there by Pippi Brown. Dutson over to Van Dyke, standing at the Badger logo with 6.10 left to go in the first quarter. For three, Dutson, oh, comes up short on the rim, but a nice rebound there by the Badgers. Smith, and it looks like that was deflected out of bounds by the Eifler Tower, Nolan Eifler. Dutson with it. Badgers up five zip. Under six minutes left to play in the opening stanza. Van Dyke, now over to Dutson. Back to Van Dyke at the near corner. Pass on the inside of Bittner. Gets it to Brown. Brown through traffic. Takes a shot. It's good! Pippi Brown through traffic. Banks it off the glass to make it seven to nothing in favor of Prescott. And these seniors certainly celebrating senior night here. Eifler. In the paint, takes the shot, and it's good! The Eifler Tower gets the first bucket of the night for Coronado, and it's seven to two. 
Dons trailing, Levi Van Dyke into the paint, loses the ball, picked up by the Dons. Here comes Eifler with the drive and off the glass and it's good by the Eifler Tower. And the Dons are catching up seven to four. Ryan Smith, bounce pass on the inside to Brown. Now Dudson, he moves in, bounce pass to Pippi Brown at the baseline. Big shot, oh, denied by Brandon Hudson and here come the Dons. Break away for Eifler and Eifler off the glass and the Eifler Tower gets the good bounce. And right now it's Prescott seven and well, Nolan Eifler six for three, Smith. Off the rim, no good, and rebounded by Wetzel. That's Justin Wetzel, I should, I should clarify. Now Jacob Wetzel has the ball. I did not ask before the game, but I assume they're brothers, as Pippi Brown gives a little body check there to Jacob Wetzel, and Brown gets dinged for the foul. And now we get the regular guys for Prescott in there, and a nice round of applause for these seniors a lot of them bench players this season and getting their chance to shine here on senior night tonight to give Prescott a 7-6 lead. Hudson with it for the Dons. Intercepted by Rome Bassett. Nice heads up defensive play there by the, by the Emperor Rome Bassett. And for three, it's good by Uriah Tanet. And Tenacious T. Increases the Badger lead to seven to six, or is 10 to six, excuse me. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter for three. Walker, no good, rebounded by the G-Force. Zane Gall, who passed it to, to Net. Ball got away from Tanette, but he reeled it in. And nice drive to the basket by Jake Hilton, and he puts it through for two. And the Badgers double their lead, 12-6 with 3.36 left to go in the first quarter. Justin Wetzel with the ball for Coronado. Now over to Walker, the 6-7 Brandon Walker. Going into the paint through traffic and a nice layup there by Brandon Walker to draw the Dons closer to the Badgers. 12-8 to score, Tanette on the inside, and Micah Bittner yeah, almost got a dunk there, then just let it go, and you know what? It did the job. Micah Bittner for two. Make it 14-8, Badgers. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Walker with the ball for the Dons. For three, Walker. Off the rim, no good, and it's rebounded by Rome Bassett. Tanette thought about a three, comes inside, takes the fadeaway jumper. It's good by Uriah Tanette. And Tenacious T ups the Badgers score. 16 to eight. Badgers establishing themselves early. Stolen by the Badgers. Uriah Tanette on the breakaway. Uriah Tanette. Oh, tried for a one-handed dunk. But Tanette gets the ball back, and instead Uriah Tanette gets a three. <laughs> well, Tanette couldn't get the one-handed dunk, but it did work out well in the end as Tanette buries a tray to make it 19 to eight. <laughs> And another steal by the Badgers, it's Rome Bassett. He hands it off to Bittner. Bittner goes off the glass, misses, but I think Micah Bittner got caught, or Micah Bittner got fouled, I should say. And it looks like it is going to be Brandon Hudson who comes up with the foul for Coronado. Micah Bittner up to the line. And it's good by Bittner. Bittner, one of seven seniors on this Prescott team. A Badger team that, as I said before, has gone 19 and two this season. One of the best seasons we've seen from Badger basketball in a long time as Bittner misses on that one. Trying to push that one back was Jake Hilton, couldn't do it. And now here come the Dons. Lee Papa, and knocked out of bounds by Jake Hilton. Possession will stay with Coronado with a buck 47 left to go in the first quarter. 20 to eight is our score in favor of Prescott in the regular season finale. Eifler 
Now bounces it off of Hilton's leg, still picking up his Papa, and almost stolen by Cooper Magnet, but it looks like the ball went out of bounds. So Lee Papa will inbound for the Dons. And eight seniors on this Coronado team. Loose ball, Tanette trying to steal it, and Eifler loses it, but picking it up is Brandon Walker. Now for three, it's good by Brandon Hudson. And now in the paint, oh! Now Zane Gall trying for the layup, but he gets called for a travel. So no dice on that one. Well, John, the Badgers started off a 7-0 lead, and then the Dons got close to within 7-6, and since then it's been a pretty much all Badgers. 13 to 13 to 5 outscored once the uh, starters came in. And now we get a foul called against uh, Coronado. And now in the paint, Jake Hilton tries for a reverse layup, but there's the tip in by Zane Gall for two. 22 to 11, final 50 seconds to go here for the first quarter for three. No good by Jacob Wetzel. Badgers with it, Jake Hilton in the paint, and Hilton with the one-handed dunk! Oh, Jake Hilton saying, you will respect my authority! Man, oh man. Are we gonna have to replace that rim or what? Cause man, Hilton just crushed it like Godzilla crushes buildings. Hey folks, <laughs> we're still in the first quarter. <laughs> 24 to 11, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Papa gets that one over to Hudson. Hudson with the jumper. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Zane Gall. Gall, I think he's just about at 200 rebounds for the season for Prescott. Now Gall for three. No good. But Jake Hilton, oh, tries for the putback. But it's the Emperor, Rome Bassett, coming up with the rebound. One second left to go. Tanette, long range three. No good as it just hits the rim. And that will do it for the first quarter of action with our score, Prescott 24, Coronado 11. So let's take a break here on our live stream of Badger Basketball. We'll be back with more right after this. Arizona Seamless Gutters, installing gutters in northern Arizona for over 41 years. When it comes to protecting your home from damage caused by faulty gutters, make the wise choice. Call Arizona Seamless Gutters. Don't waste money on gutters that might not withstand Arizona's harsh weather. Hello, friends. This is Travis Stedman, Arizona Seamless Gutters. We have gutters in all price ranges and gutter accessories, including gutter covers. Our custom gutters are better than factory because they are tailor-made for your home. Call 778-1818 for a free estimate. Arizona Seamless Gutters, guaranteed quality since 1981. And we're back here at Prescott High School coming to you from under the dome. John Rust with you here for our special live stream of Prescott basketball, the regular season finale and also senior night for the Badgers. And they are up 24 to 11 here in the second quarter now. We're just about getting ready to start with that. And of course, speaking of getting started, the state tournament gets started next week. We have no idea where the Badgers will be playing, who they will be playing, but we'll keep you up to date with that on KYCA. Andrew Lyon with the ball for the Badgers. Over to Pippi Brown. Now to net. Bounce pass to Lyon for three. It's good! Andrew Lyon burying the tray and make it 27 to 11 in favor of the Badgers. And oh, Jay Andre Nance going for the layup, but Jake Hilton denying him big time. Actually, correction, I believe that was Cooper Magnet who uh, who had that block there for the Badgers. Well, did you notice? Not only did he get the block, he saved the ball and got it inbounds back to the Badgers. Yeah, that's some heads-up play there as Lyon gets it to Danette. Danette. Trying to get around Jalen Patterson. Now back to Tanette. Over to Zane Gall. Back to Tanette. 
Tanette on the inside to Gall. Gall flips that one over to Tanette. Tanette moves inside. Gets that one over to Magnet for three. No good off the glass and rebounded by Jayandre Nance. Nance guarded by Andrew Lyon. Now Lyon makes his move, coming inside, trying to get around Brown. Loose ball. Jalen Patterson with it at the far corner, guarded by Lyon. Jeandre Nance with it now. 6.40 left to go in the second quarter. 27 to 11, Badgers on top of Coronado. Hudson out to Patterson, long range three. No good, oh, Tanette almost got the rebound, but right there to back him up is Lyon. Now Tanette with the ball, past the half court line. Tanette in the paint, oh, and now Tanette slipped a little there, but I think it's gonna be Jeandre Nance who gets called for a foul. A little bit of a reach in there. Put him off balance. <laughs> right now, four fouls for Coronado, two for Prescott. Tanette for the three from the far corner, no good. And grabbing the rebound for Coronado is Brandon Hudson. He gets it over to Nance. Nance past the half court line. Guarded by Uriah Tanette. Bounce pass over to Brandon Walker. Walker, oh, denied by Zane Gall. And the Badgers get the ball back. Pass to Brown. Brown looks like he got hit in the back, but Pippi Brown puts it off the glass for two. I think a little cross check there to Brown, no call, but it didn't matter. He still got the bucket, and it's 29 to 11 Badgers. 5.39 remaining in the second stanza. A steal by Uriah Tanette. Tanette on the breakaway, and Tanette off the glass for two. Tenacious T. And Tanette with 10 points tonight for Prescott. And it looks like we got some bodies colliding there on the near side. As Levi Van Dyke comes into the game. So Nolan Eifler to inbound for Coronado. Eifler came into tonight with 142 points on the season. Nance moving inside, guarded by Van Dyke. Gets him out to Patterson for three. No good. Nice rebound by Eifler. Eifler puts it up. Eifler goes down, and Eifler is going to go to the charity stripe. You see the disparity between a top 10 team in the conference and one of the lower level teams, unfortunately. The Badgers starters, when they, the typical starters, when they came back into the game, the Badgers had a one point lead, 7-6. They have outscored Coronado 24 to five since. Eifler, first shot is good. The Eifler Tower now with seven points tonight, Eifler Again, 142 points this season coming into this game last year. An all-Black Canyon region honorable mention as Eifler misses on the second shot. Uriah Tanet has it. Tanet with the pass over to Van Dyke. Now to Tanet. Gets that one over to Lyon. Back to Tanet with under five left to go in the first half. 31 to 12. Badgers on top. Van Dyke in the paint. Takes the shot and no good. And Walker almost got the rebound. Now he does get it. It was pushed back to him by Nolan Eifler. Nance with the ball. Now has to move around the big guy, Brandon Walker. Oh, gets over to the far side. And it looks like Tanette, a little too physical on that one. Uriah Tanette's going to get called for the foul. Tanette averaging almost 25 points per game this season. He's actually fourth in the 4A conference in scoring. Tanette going to come out of the game. Jayandre Nance. As he comes past the half court line, guarded by Rome Bassett. Now Micah Bittner on him. Nance trying to find someone to pass it to. And finally bounces that one over to Eifler. Now bants to Nance. Nance double team. Gets that over to Patterson, and Patterson gets around Bittner and off the glass for two. Jalen Patterson, nice play there by the 6'2 junior. 31 to 14, Coronado trailing. Four minutes left to go in the second quarter as that one tipped out of bounds by Jayandre Nance. 
Nance in his sophomore season for Coronado. As I mentioned before, eight seniors on this Coronado team. They're going to have a lot of holes to fill next year. And the inbound to Hilton. Hilton goes up for the shot, and I think that's uh, Brandon Walker who got an elbow near uh, Hilton's face. And that'll be the first foul tonight for Walker. Jake Hilton up to the line. Four points tonight for Jake Hilton. Now five points now for Hilton, who will be playing football next year at University of Wisconsin River Falls. So best of luck to Jake Hilton on the gridiron there in cheese country. Second shot no good by Hilton. Patterson with the ball for Coronado. Eifler. Passing inside to Walker. Walker, he turns, he shoots, he scores! Brandon Walker, the 6'7'' senior, makes it a 32-16 game. Coronado trailing. Three and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Levi Van Dyke with the ball for the Badgers. Now to Rome Bassett. Back to Van Dyke at the near corner. Bounces on the inside to Brown. Now Brown feeds that one into Micah Bittner. No good, and rebounded by Walker. And whistle blown on the play. It looks like it's going to be a foul, I think, against Walker, and it is. Second foul tonight for Brandon Walker, who began the night with 477 points and 276 rebounds on the season. Bassett inbounds to Jake Hilton. Over to Bassett. Now back to Bassett, back to Hilton. Round and round the ball goes. Ryan Smith with it now. And trying to get it to Hilton. Actually, it looked like it got knocked out of bounds, I think, by Brandon Hudson. So the Badgers inbound with 3.03 left to go in the first half. The Emperor Rome Bassett with it. Gets it over to Ryan Smith. Back to Bassett at the far corner. Now over to Bittner. Bittner moving through traffic. Oh, Bittner got wedged in between Patterson and Walker. And it looks like the uh, ball got out of his hands, went out of bounds. So Eifler inbounds it to Jayandre Nance. Nance. Oh, man, Nance got knocked down, loses the ball. Now Hilton with it to Gall. And a nice alley-oop there from Hilton to Gall. And the G-Force puts it through for two. Now whistle on the play as it's 34-16. It'll be Badger ball as they have the lead with 2.36 left to go in the first half. Jake Hilton to inbound. Five points so far tonight for Hilton. Gall turns, shoots, doesn't score. And now Patterson was trying to get the rebound. Just couldn't come up with it. So it will be Badger possession. Rome Bassett to inbound for Prescott. And timeout called by Coronado. 2.30 left to go here in the second quarter. Our score, 34 to 16. And, uh, well, Jason, uh, kind of an uh, interesting playoff format that we're going to be having here starting next week as along with the normal 4A conference playoffs, we also, as I said before, the open uh, tournament, which includes teams from the 4A, 5A, and 6A. And I think we're still trying to figure out how all that works. It's going to be interesting. I think it's the first year for the open. Now, the 1A, 2A, 3A schools will stay in their own conference. 4A through 6A, 32 teams are going to the open championship. But as we understand it, the first round losers will return to their conferences for their own state playoffs. So. It's going to be an interesting format, an interesting uh, experiment this year for Arizona. And right now, Prescott is number 24 in the open division for three. Hilton, no good. Battle for the rebound. Who comes up with it? It's the Badgers. It's Ben Dutson. Dutson for three. It's good. Ben Dutson burying a tray as the Badgers extend their lead 37 to 16. First bucket of the night for the senior Ben Dutson, who is Grand Canyon University bound. Oh, trying for the dunk was Walker, no dice. And Eifler tried for the pass, stolen by Jake Hilton. Hilton in the paint, Hilton loses the ball, picks it back up to Gall, and Zane Gall with an easy one for two. 
Six points so far for the G-Force. 39 to 16. Badgers increasing their lead. Walker almost had it. And Ryan Smith uh, kind of interfering with that pass there goes out of bounds. But it will still be Coronado possession. Nolan Eifler to inbound. Eifler seven points tonight for the Dons. Nance to Walker. Walker under double team. Gets it over to Eifler. Now for three. Hudson no good. And rebounded by Zane Gall. Rome Bassett with it. Dutson, pass on the inside to Gall. Gall in the paint. Try to get that over to Jake Hilton, but getting a hand in there and knocking it out of the way was Hudson. Bassett to inbound for the Badgers. Over to Dutson at the near corner. He moves inside through traffic, spins around. And it looks like Dutson got to run into. By the way, folks, congratulations to the Prescott girls soccer team. They were in action just outside of the Prescott gymnasium. The Lady Badgers getting an eight to nothing win over Mingus. Wow. A young team, but Prescott girls soccer doing very well this year as Dutson misses on the first free throw. Again, Ben Dutson, he will be attending Grand Canyon University next year. So best of luck to him down there as he will go from being a Badger to being an Antelope. Another miss there by Dutson as the ball goes out of bounds and it will be possession, Coronado. Coronado, based out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Nance gets the inbound to Jalen Patterson. Now back to Nance. Almost loses the ball. Hilton right there with him. Bounce pass the inside to Walker, and Walker puts it off the glass for two. Brandon Walker. An all-black Canyon region first team selection from last year. Makes it a 39-18 game. Coronado trailing. Dutson over to Bassett. 40 seconds left to go in the first half. Dutson. Now Gall coming in from the near corner in the paint through traffic. Ball knocked out of his hands. Jake Hilton gets it off the rim. No good. And it's Brandon Hudson who comes up with the rebound. Flips that one over to Walker. Now Jeandre Nance with 25 seconds left to go in the half. Nance on the far side. Guarded by Zane Gall. Boy, what a size mismatch there. Bounce over to Walker. The shot. Misses on that one, and now here come the air ball chance by the Badger fans. Hilton in the paint. Oh, knocked out of his hands by the Eifler Tower, Nolan Eifler. Still Prescott possession, eight seconds left to go in the first half. Bassett gets the inbound to Hilton, and Hilton puts it through for two. Jake Hilton. And the horn sounds, shot misses from Coronado, and that will do it for the first half of action. Our score here from under the dome, it's Prescott 41 and Coronado 18. Thank you for being with us on our special live. Came to within 7-6, and then, well, that was the end of that. You know, Nolan Eifler, 5-9, a buck 38, but man, oh man, that, that guy's one talented basketball player. DeAndre Nance with the ball for the Dons. Now Eifler in the paint. He turns, he shoots, he does not score, and getting the rebound is Rome Bassett. Falls down and still gets the pass off to Uriah Tanette. Now that was an awesome pass. Tanette, long pass to Hilton. Oh, Hilton tried to one-hand it. It's stolen by Amari Brown. Now Patterson in. Oh, Tanette knocks the ball out of Patterson's hands, but it goes out of bounds. So it'll still be Coronado possession. And it will be Eifler to inbound. Eifler last season in all Black Canyon region honorable mention. Brown moving inside. He turns, he shoots. He doesn't score, and that's because he got fouled. And I believe it is going to be I think they're going to say 
think they're going to say it was Uriah Tanet who got the foul. I'm not sure about that. Thought it might have been Bassett or Hilton. Actually, you know what? Correction. I believe they're going to say it was Cooper Magnet who got the foul. As it's 41 to 20 now in favor of Prescott. Gall, he turns, he shoots, doesn't get the bounce, but Uriah Tanet gets the rebound, and Uriah Tanet puts it through for two. Tenacious T increasing the Badger lead to 43 to 20. DeAndre Nance with it, taking his time, trying to find someone to pass it to. Now finally gets it over to Amari Brown. Brown trying to get around Magnet, over to Eifler. Eifler comes inside, double team, flips it over to Patterson. Patterson, loose ball, picked up by Eifler. Oh, we got a Badger down as that shot goes off. Gall tries for the rebound. Action still going. We still have a Badger on one knee. Play is not stopped, fine, and traveling called. And yeah, Zane Gall just saying to the ref, yo, we got someone down here. And I think that's Cooper Magnet as uh, Prescott trainer Trent James is out to check on him. And he was down for the longest time. It looked like the referees didn't even know the guy was down. Now, now Magnet coming off the floor. It might be he's got a bloody nose. Well, he had that um, head harness on right there. That could have... Uh that could have played into it mm -hmm. a little bit if he got hit in just the wrong spot. And Coach Travis Stedman going over to check on Magnin. We hope he'll be okay. We hope to see him back later on. He'll get checked out by Coach James. Meantime, looks like we got a timeout here with 619 remaining in the third quarter. 43 to 20 is our score. The Badgers on top. By the way, in the JV game earlier tonight, Prescott with the 47 to 31 victory over Coronado. Good game all around on that one as well, and the Badgers dominated, but uh, Coronado was scrappy. We play him again next year. It's going to be a tougher game. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, folks, find out what's going on with Prescott Sports on the Badgers Sports Report. That's every weekday morning at 6:47, right here on the News 1490 AM and 103.5 FM. And now we have Principal Adam Neely coming out here, and it looks like they're going to do a little cleaning of the floor. And again, it might, yeah, actually, it does look like there was some blood out there that unfortunately came out of Cooper Magnet's nose. So, hey, even though you're the principal of the school, sometimes you got to do a little uh, floor cleaning, I guess. <laughs> Oh, there's, a, there, there's some good administrators around here. So there, there we go once again. Got to make sure the floor is clean. But, <laughs> Man. Well, unfortunately, he did take a pretty good hit there. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we'll see him back out on the court or at least on the sidelines before the yeah. end of the game. Well, if not, we'll see him on the baseball field in the spring. Cooper Magnet, one of several multi-sport athletes on this Prescott team. You also have Uriah Tanet and... Jake Hilton, Levi Van Dyke, and Ryan Smith and Pippi Brown, all from the football team. Micah Bittner and Rome Bassett, part of the swim team. Actually have a did a story with uh, Coach Stedman about how much he values these multi-sport athletes. And you can check out that story on our website, kyca.info. Just click on the news link, and that'll take you to all of our top local news and sports stories from around the Tri-City area. Jake Hilton to inbound to your eye tonight as we're back to action. And again, hopefully Cooper Magnet's doing okay. Tanette comes inside, makes the drive, and makes the basket, Uriah Tanette. 14 points tonight for Tenacious T, and it's 45-20 Prescott. Nance with the ball, trying to get around to net. He comes inside. Now under a double team. He flips that one over to Brown. 
And knocked away by Gall, but picked up by Brown. Feeds that one to Walker. Walker tries for a reverse layup, no good, and rebounded by the Badgers with 5.30 left to go in the third quarter. To net. Now Dudson over to Bassett for three. It's good! The Emperor buries the tray! 48 to 20 in favor of Prescott. As one of those multi-sport athletes, Rome Bassett gets a big three. Brown through traffic. Takes it. Oh man! Zane Gall just doing a Dikembe Madumbo and saying no, 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 as he just slaps that ball down. So ball out of bounds, Eifler will inbound, gets it over to Walker. Walker now double teamed at the far corner. Now Walker gets, he turns, he shoots, doesn't score, and it's rebounded by Zane Gall. Bassett, now to net from the far corner. He moves inside, takes the running shot, it's good, Uriah to net. And it's a 30-point lead for Prescott, 50 to 20. Walker bounces it over to Eifler. He's double teamed, he backs off. Now he finally gets that one outside to Amari Brown. Brown comes in, and I think that might have been Ben Dutson, who got a body check in there. First foul of the night called against Dutson. And now Pippi Brown and Micah Bittner are coming out of the game, or coming into the game, coming out of it. Zane Gall and Jake Hilton. Eifler lobs that one into Nance. Now bounce pass over to Eifler. Eifler takes the shot. Yeah, looks like Eifler might have got fouled. And I think it's going to be against Ben Dutson again. Nice crowd here at Prescott for the senior night. It was looking a little sparse during the JV game, but they came here for the varsity, and mm -hmm. I'm glad they did. Might very well be the last home game of the season. And Eifler drops that free throw in. Really good turnout by the Prescott se uh, student section tonight as well. Many of them bringing their signs. Blocking up the scenery and breaking my mind, but I don't mind. That shot misses by Eifler. Fifty to twenty-one is the score. Coronado trails. Uriah Tanet backs out, gets that one over to Pippi Brown. Now back to Tanet, comes inside, drives, takes the shot. It's good, and Uriah Tanet also gets fouled as he makes that shot. So Uriah Tanet will try for a three-point play. Jalen Patterson getting called for the foul. As that one is good by Tanet, make it 53-21. 17 points tonight for Tenacious T. And here come the Dons. Justin Wetzel with it. And it looks like Dutson gets fouled. I don't know about you, Jason, but whenever I call out either of the Wetzels here tonight, for whatever reason, I got a hankering for a pretzel. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, John. <laughs> well. <laughs> I had to say it, you know. Oh, yeah. And speaking of Wetzel, oh, Jacob Wetzel just comes up short on that one. Tanette. Backs out, now gets it over to Rome Bassett. Now for three, Dudson! Oh, doesn't get the balance, but getting the rebound is Brandon Walker. Now gets that one over to Justin Wetzel. Ball gets loose, who's gonna come up with it? And it's gonna be the other Wetzel, Jacob. Inside, now over to Eifler. He turns, now he shoots and does not score. And Rome Bassett gets the rebound with 3.15 left to go in the third quarter. Uriah Tanette moves into the paint, takes the jumper, comes up short. Badgers, oh, and it looks like uh, 
Micah Bittner was unable to keep that ball in bounds. Levi Van Dyke back into the game along with Danian Bernardo. Wetzel inbound. Jacob Wetzel, I should say, inbounds to Juts Justin Wetzel. Bernardo trying to block him. Pass over to Walker. Now over to Eifler. Eifler trying to get around Levi Van Dyke. He's in the paint. He turns. He shoots. And comes up short. And Rome Bassett just going to let that ball bounce out of bounds. And here come the air ball chance by the student section. As Bernardo, the sophomore, comes down. I guess it over to Levi Van Dyke. Purple shoes and all. Bernardo. Now just kind of passing the ball around and around it goes. Bernardo goes for three. Oh, comes up short. But getting the rebound is Pippi Brown. Now he moves toward the paint. Kicks that one out to Bernardo. Levi Van Dyke comes in. Oh, and Van Dyke looks like he's going to get nailed for a charge. Now Van Dyke having some football flashbacks there. <laughs> I don't know what to say, a 32-point lead for the Badgers, and we are nowhere near the end of the third period just yet. Yeah, 2.10 left to go. Justin Wetzel with it. Now gets it over to Eifler. Eifler trying to find someone to pass the ball to. Eifler guarded by Van Dyke. Van Dyke all over him. Now Hudson. And baseline, reverse layup. Oh, it's good by Brandon Hudson. What a bucket there by Hudson. 53-23, Coronado trailing by 30. Pippi Brown for three. Oh, in and out of the basket. And rebounded by Brandon Walker. Timeout called by Coronado with a buck 28 left to go. And folks, I want to remind you that every Saturday morning, join us here on KYCA for the Tri-City Sports Roundup. Starts at 8.06 every Saturday morning. We talk local sports. We have coaches and athletes come into the studio. And if you missed last week's one, we had uh, the Bradshaw Mountain Boys Soccer Team, some representatives from that team come into our studio. Bradshaw Mountain Boys Soccer having a tremendous season. Last time I looked, they were ranked number three in the state. And you can check out the replay of that show on KYCA.info in our archives. Or you can go to our Facebook page and check out the replay of the live stream. Justin Wetzel with the ball for Coronado, guarded by Levi Van Dyke. Comes into the paint, gets that one out to Hudson for three. No good. Off the top of the backboard, out of bounds. Levi Van Dyke to inbound. And just flips that one over to Danian Bernardo. Bassett. Now over to Van Dyke. And turning, shooting, and scoring is Micah Bittner. A little spin -a rooney action there by Micah Bittner for the bucket. Make it 55-23 in favor of Prescott. Final 50 seconds of the third quarter. The jumper by Wetzel, no good. And Prescott comes up the rebound. Here comes Levi Van Dyke. Over to Bernardo. Long pass to Bittner at the far corner. Home Bassett now on the inside to Pippi Brown. Brown through traffic, takes the shot. Off the glass, no good. Put back by Bassett, no good. And Walker comes up with the ball for the Dines in the final 25 seconds of the third stanza. Hudson now has the ball slip out of his hands and it's gonna be possession Prescott. 16 seconds left to go, Danian Barnardo. To Van Dyke, Van Dyke going for three. No good and rebounded by Brandon Hudson. Four seconds left. Jacob Wetzel goes for three, no good as the horn sounds and that will do it for the third quarter of play. Our score, Prescott 55, Coronado 23. We'll take a break here and we'll be back with quarter number four right after this. 
it's Gina with the City of Prescott here to give you a quick tip for safely driving in the snow. When traveling behind a plow truck, stay at least 100 feet back and please never attempt to pass a snow plow while they are actively clearing our roads. This will keep you and our street maintenance team safe. For more information, check out our website at prescott-az.gov. And we're back here at Prescott High School. John Rust, Jason Zinzaletta with you. CJ Siegfried running our cameras here for our special live stream of Prescott basketball. The regular season finale next week. It's big dance time as the state tournament begins. Prescott's going to be there, and so will Bradshaw Mountain. We're, look, we're looking forward to the first open tournament ever in basketball. Going to be interesting. Looks like Coconino will also be in the playoff mix too, probably in the 4A conference portion. Coconino, they're actually number 16 in power points. Brown over to Rome Bassett. Now Jake Hilton feeds that one inside to Smith. Brown over to Hilton. And now just round and round the ball goes for the Badgers. Now Hilton. And off to Bassett. And now finally the shot by Bittner, no good. By the way, folks, uh, the shot clock has been turned off. And actually, we are into running clock right now as the ball goes out of bounds. And it's 7.15 and counting here in this game. Not a surprise. It's time to end the game pretty much and uh, let the Badgers sit back, rest, and watch the bracket show on Saturday. <laughs> Brown misses on that three-point attempt. Dons with the ball. Justin Wetzel gets that one over to Walker. And now Hudson back to Walker. Walker in the paint. He turns. He shoots. Does not score. And grabbing the rebound is Prescott. That's the Emperor, Rome Bassett. Bassett sets up the offense. Now Jake Hilton for three. It's good. Jake Hilton from a whole other zip code with the tray. 58 to 23, the score on a long range three by Jake Hilton. Walker with the ball for the Dons. Bounce pass on the inside and that is to number 42 for Coronado, who is not on our roster. So apologies there, folks, that we can't give you his name. Wonder if he might be a late JV call up and just wasn't put on the roster. Running shot, no good by Jacob Wetzel, but he gets his own rebound, puts it off the glass, and putting it through for two, Jacob Wetzel for his first bucket of the night. 58-25. Coronado trailing for three, Hilton, it's good! Nothing but net on that three by Jake Hilton. 12 point night for Hilton and it's 61-25 Prescott for three, Hudson no good, rebounded by Hilton. 5.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Again folks, we are in running clock here in the fourth quarter. Hilton, can he do it again? Uh, no, he can't. <laughs> well, two out of three ain't bad. Justin Wetzel on the inside. It looks like Wetzel got banged into there by Ryan Smith, who I think also had some football flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Only uh, two fouls for the Badgers. Oh, no, for, uh, excuse me, for, uh, yeah, for the Badgers uh, so far in the second half. Six. No, six fouls for Prescott and only one for Coronado. I mean, they've had their flashes, but uh, not much. Eifler kicks that one out to number 21, Lee Papa. Papa with a running shot, no good. And it's rebounded by Ben Dutson. And I think the rest of the way, it's going to be the reserves carrying the day for Prescott. Oh, nice one-handed shot there by Ben Dutson. 63-25 in favor of Prescott. 
Five points tonight for Ben Dutson. Justin Wetzel with it. He moves inside. Kicks that one out to his brother. The shot, no good, and right into the hands of Pippi Brown. Brown in the paint. Oh, loses the ball. Badgers pick it back up. That's Smith, and I think we're going to get a foul. Jacob Wetzel gets dinged for the foul. Levi Van Dyke will inbound for Prescott. Turning, shooting, and scoring is Ryan Smith. Four points tonight for Ryan Smith as he makes it 65-25 Prescott as we get a whistle on the play. Well, folks, stay tuned to our sports reports all throughout the day through the weekend to the Tri-City Sports Roundup. And then next week, we'll know where are the Badgers playing, where are the Bears playing, and we'll do our best to bring you all the action throughout the playoffs here on KYCA. Abdi Abdi from the free throw line. No good. That one's rebounded by Smith. Andrew Lyon now with the ball for the Badgers. Over to Bernardo. Smith again. One handed pass over to Bernardo. Final two and a half minutes of the game. Badgers on top by 40 for three, Van Dyke. Oh, no good. Dons get the ball. It's the Eifler Tower, Nolan Eifler. Van Dyke trying to steal that ball away from him. Abdi Abdi gets that one over to Wetzel. Now pass over the other Wetzel, Jacob. Jump shot, no good. Rebounded by the Badgers. Ben Dutson with it. Two minutes left to go in the game. Levi Van Dyke moves in from the far corner, takes the running shot, no good. As ball goes out of bounds amongst the cheerleaders. Levi Van Dyke, you'll get to hear him on the February 11th edition of the Tri-City Sports Roundup as he and Jake Hilton will represent the Prescott boys basketball team in our annual local athletes pick the winner of the Super Bowl segment. I will say this, Jake Hilton, for his Super Bowl pick, he chose wisely. Levi Van Dyke did not choose wisely. <laughs> and well, for people who know me, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mr. Eagle fan sitting here, yes. <laughs> Wetzel with the jumper, no good. Rebounded by the Badgers. Ben Dudson, that one goes out of bounds. As we come down to one minute, one minute left to go. In the game. Bernardo with it. And a nice way for the Badgers to end the regular season. As the student section starts whooping it up for three. It's good! It's good! A big shot by Ryan Smith for three! And what a way to celebrate senior night, a guy who really didn't get much time on the court this year, but boy, oh boy, talk about a great memory for Ryan Smith right there. 24 seconds left to go. And now we're, hey, Cooper Magnet's back. Looks like he's okay now. Magnet, Tanet, and Gall taking the floor here. And it looks like we're getting a Benny Benny chant here in honor of Ben Dutson as well. And some of the seniors coming off the court so they can get some big applause from the fans here. As Uriah Tanet will inbound it over to Bernardo. And <laughs> Eifler fouls Bernardo. Well, maybe Ben Eifler just wants his uh, season to go on just a wee bit longer. Can't blame him. First six points of the game for Coronado from Eifler. And Uriah Tanet looks like, well, he's gonna pass it over to Bernardo, but I got a feeling we might not see another shot here as the Badgers are just gonna let the clock run out. And Uriah Tanet and, and uh, Nolan Eifler just having a little conversation there as time winds down. 
That will do it for our game. Final score tonight in the regular season finale. Prescott 68, Coronado 25. And that concludes the regular season for the Badgers as they will enter the playoffs with a 20 and two record. I can't remember the last time the Badgers won 20 games in a season. Not for a long time, if ever. It's been a very long time. I tell you what, this broadcast is going out. It's going to be on tape. Anybody can watch any time. You can bet the 5A and 6A teams are going to be watching this <laughs> very carefully. You are right about that. And, well, again, final score tonight, 68-25. to 25. Prescott with the victory. And, folks, again, we will keep you updated on what the dealio is going to be next week when it comes to the playoffs for both Prescott and Bradshaw Mountain. But again, we thank you very much for joining us here for our special live stream of Prescott basketball. Final score from under the dome, Badgers 68, Coronado 25. Till next time, for CJ Siegfried, for Jason Zinzaletta, I'm John Rust saying good night, everybody.